Hey everyone, my name is Adam Archer, and today we're going to be taking a look at a knife by request. So if you want to see a specific knife, just let me know, as long as it's currently in my collection. So we are going to be taking a look at the Spyderco Bird Wrench. This is a multi-tool designed by Spyderco Knives. So of course it does have the Spyderco blade right there. Um, this is a rather unique knife. Um, as I don't believe Spider Co. really made any multi-tools other than this and the Bird Wrench, which is technically one of the Spider Wrench models. So this is the U.S. variant of the Spider Wrench. Um, they came in three variants, or three toolings, I should say. Um, the first was the USA made version, which I believe was discontinued in 2003. This can be verified, or the model is identified through the USA on the tang of the knife. So you can see right there, it does say USA. The other version was discontinued or reproduced in, I believe, 2007 to 2010 and then discontinued. That was the Taiwan version. And then they also produced the Chinese version, um, I believe, after the Taiwan version. Um, the reason for the change in production from U.S. to China um, under the Spider Co. name was due to um, it taking a lot of time in the Spider Co. factory in Golden, Colorado. I believe it was in Golden, Colorado at the time. Um, and this is a completely cast handle. There's a lot of moving parts, and it just was taking up a lot of time from other pieces um, when... Uh, the uh, more popular models may be able to make them a little bit more money. They did mention that it is a possibility of this knife coming back, um, but it would take somebody ordering a sprint run of over 3,000 pieces. Um, I believe that's what Sal said in 2011. They mentioned that they had millions of dollars um, that they had spent in designing and tooling and manufacturing this knife. So now that I've gotten a little bit of the background, let's take a look at the different features of this. So first off, we have the blade, uh, one of the feature parts of Spider Co. knives. So one thing I do want to mention, I bought this at a yard sale, so it is not in pristine condition. The blade is actually in pretty poor condition, at least the serrations are, but Spider Co. does have a warranty service where you can send it in and they will sharpen even serrated knives. I've had experience with that and have been very satisfied in the past and I'll probably have them do that on this model. So this came in a few different blade variants. It had the fully serrated as you see here. They had a partially serrated which of course is half the blade serrated and of course they had a non serrated version which of course means no serrations. So you can take a look at the serrations right here. Let's zoom in. And one of the things you can see is with the, um, like the wrench in a closed position, the blade is fully exposed. So you don't have the wrench gain in, what, in the way of any of that edge. And of course, on one side it has Spyderco USA and it uses 440C steel. The handle itself is a different type of steel. I believe it is a cast steel. Um, I did not look into what specific type of it was though. So let's close that blade. This does use a mid back lock. The next thing that is readily or readily usable um, in this kind of closed position is the adjustable rent or the slip joint pliers. So this does come in, or there's two, um, oh, make sure that's in frame. Uh, there are two positions of this. So that is kind of more of the wide mouth and then you can bring it up like this. Let's make sure you can see that. Oh, it already is. And that is where you can get more of a precision right there. You can, of course, take the tool apart where the two pieces separate. 
and you have the pliers on, or the um, adjustable wrench on one side and the blade on another. You can use the knife on its own. As you can see here, you can deploy the blade. It locks open and it has actually an exposed back lock, so that is rather unique and is decently comfortable right there. The blade size, I did not measure it. I would estimate maybe at, mm, I don't know, two and a half inches. Let's see. Yeah, I'd say two and a half inches. Now, one of the other interesting features on this knife, let's zoom out again, is that when it is in kind of this closed position, there we go. So you can take it from this closed position and open it up all the way. Just keep opening it. And it locks in to a straightened way. And then you have access to the adjustable 9 16ths wrench. So you can open that up and use it as a wrench. Of course, you can use it without the extension on, in case you're wanting to do that. But let's show it with the extension on first. So you get plenty of handle on there. Um, it is decently comfortable. I did feel around to see if there were any sharp parts near the blade. If there was anything that could stick, stab you, cause any injury. Um, I didn't find anything. The tip is very well um, pushed down. So you can get a grip on this and you don't really have to worry about it being uncomfortable or possibly injuring you. So that's very good. Um, at the same time, when this is in the extended version, it does act as a uh, longer screwdriver as well. Right there you have a bit adapter um, and it does have some bits in here. So there is um, on the bottom here a little tool that you have to push back due to a spring. So you can see the spring right there and you have this piece which is actually a so two screwdrivers on each side and a diamond coated piece of metal as a sharpener. So you have two flat, well, a flat side, a rounded side, and then a concave side right in there for sharpening, and that is diamond coated. And here you have four bits. Um, you can put any bit that you want in there, but it does come with two flat heads and two Phillips and you can just put it in this side right there. With this extended, you get a very nice size screwdriver. Of course, you can use this also. Let's put this back in there. So if you want to close this, you can use the screwdriver when this is closed or One thing that I had seen, let's just make sure that we've got these two separated. If you need to hold a bolt while screwing another thing in to the bolt or something, you actually can use both tools at once. So very cool there. Um, let's show how this locks into a uh, the open position versus the closed position. So it actually does lock. You can see there is a little spring piece here that you just have to press down and it lets this unlock. So you won't have this slipping on you. It actually locks open or close. Well, not close, but uh, it locks. Uh, let's see, what other tools are there on here? Um, do I think that is a majority of the tools. It does come with a pocket clip, right or left? Well, nope, right hand. I guess that's right hand carry. 
Let's see if it's tip up or tip down. So it is, I guess, right hand tip down carry. Non-reversible pocket clip, but that is super nice that it comes with a pocket clip. Um, and there you go. That is the Spyderco Spider Wrench. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of it. It's definitely a one of the cooler Spyderco knives, um, especially with the tools that comes with it. If you'd be interested in seeing the bird wrench or seeing a comparison between the spider wrench and the bird wrench, let me know. It's definitely a video that I will make sometime in the future, but I'm unsure of the interest of it or anything like that. So let's take a look at the exact lengths. I just looked over and found a measuring tape. Um, you would think that as a reviewer on here, that I would be prepared for that type of stuff, but you'd be wrong. So completely open, it is just about uh, seven and a quarter inches long. If we close this up, it's going to be do four and three quarters inches and then that blade length I know we will want to have a look at that two and a half inches nice now um, there's nothing really more for me to say I'll just show a close-up of this in case you're wanting to look at it in more detail Kind of reminds me of my old video, 1080p macro time. Do you guys remember that? That was four years ago or something. Oh, one thing that I had mentioned that I was gonna show. If you take this tool out right here, and then you bring this all the way down, it just falls out. It's a little melt piece. So kind of interesting. So you'll want to keep that, or you won't want to lose this piece, the little sharpener, because then the jaws will fall out and these bits won't stand there then. I believe there are some versions that will actually say USA on here. Um, but this is not one of them. Uh, well, of course it isn't. It doesn't say it, so it would not be. Let's just show that. Actually, it will be on this side a little bit better. Easier to see. have that closed in order to close this and let's separate the tool into two separate pieces hmm. can sometimes be tricky to do that while on camera open that up You can see just how poorly or poor the serrations are right now. This knife was just abused, or at least the serrations were. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Spyderco made some awesome, unique knives, and I'm really glad to have been able to get this one. Have a great day.
and I'll see you guys later. Bye.